Welcome back everybody, my name is DanArtHD, and it's been a while since I posted something. I just recently got a haircut, it's really hot out right now, um, you know, I don't know where, like, what's the temperature, just a quick question, what's the temperature like where anybody lives out there, um, maybe it's cold, hot, I don't know, it's the summertime right now, so, yeah, um, so yeah, it's really hot, that's why, you know, I got a haircut, um, so, I want to welcome back everybody, and I, wel I want to welcome back some older folks who have been to my channel, but probably, like, kind of, like, went somewhere else and doing all that stuff. So, <laughs> I just wanted, to, uh, just wanted to welcome anybody new. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Dan Art HD. Your man, what's up? So, uh, yeah. Uh, so... The reason I'm making this video is in response to another YouTuber by the name of Midnight Plum. I want to point out that he asked a question, is there a way to import an image or photo? If so, can you please let me know how, please? And yes, with the program that I have up right now, which is like over here, um, I am going to show you how to do that. Or like how you can import the image and make sure it goes into the program kind of it's kind of like Photoshop the program that I'm talking about is called sketchable and the the program hold on for a second the program I have is on um, oops hold on is uh, basically this uh, this program is on my surface pro 6 it's basically a Microsoft program which is really cool um, but, you know, we're gonna, um, I think it's been a long time since I talked about Sketchable. I'll probably have to reintroduce that feature or reintroduce a program. So, I'm just gonna, you know, respond back to one of the questions by Midnight Plum, who asked, is there a way to import a photo? Uh, so, yes, there is a way. And we're going to do that right now. I'm gonna show you right now. So, let's go. So, this is my beautiful... Surface Pro 6. This thing is a really good device. Um, the program I have up right now is called Sketchable. So this is where the uh, drawing and painting application comes in use because on the Surface Pro, um, the um, this is a very nice application for drawing and you know doing digital painting. Basically, it's a digital app. Um, and it's basically in the Microsoft Store, so I'm going to have to reintroduce you guys to the whole program, probably. So here, as you can tell right here, is the Microsoft Pen. This pen is very, very nice. So, here we go. We've got our Surface Pen. So, let's, let's basically do the following. Um, I'm going to um, maximize this window. So we're going to go into another, this is not mine, just, just to clarify, this is not my art, this is somebody else's, but uh, I'll probably, I'll probably get to that, I'll probably get to that in another video where my art is. Um, so let me go down here where you would see the icon for new page. I'm going to go to new page and we are at a new page here. So. This is the blank home screen page of where you're going to be doing your drawing apps and all that stuff. Like, um, basically importing images if you want to go off a of photo reference. So, here's what I'm going to do. Basically, for this feature over here, there is, there is a couple features here. Oh, wait, hold on for a second. Let me see if the pen, let me see if the pen actually does what it's... Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, there we go. Alright, let me... Uh, undo that so here is one of the features right here and we're gonna take a look at this real quick oh no that's wrong image uh, there's a little tab if you can see that there's a little tab right here that says um, that's basically like a bar right here and we're gonna go to um, let's see I'm trying to remember the program here um, Oh, here we go. Uh, import. So here, 
we see export and import option. Export means you can export whatever content is on here, but for this video, we want to import. So we are going to import um, an image. Um, let me see. Um, before I do that, hold on just a minute. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to get my USB drive because the USB USB drive um, will have some some uh, photo references on there. And I think. Oh shoot! I think I deleted them. I'm not sure, but um, we're gonna try to go off of a uh, photo reference. So let's see. Um, here we go. So in um, so for example, here if we go to our photo uh, the uh, pictures folder, I have a couple different examples of uh, some vehicles here. So say for example, if I wanted to do, if I wanted to have a photo reference of this car right here, this vehicle here, it's a nice Corvette. Um, if I want to bring that in the program Sketchable, bring this into here, I'm going to show you real quick. So what we want to do is we want to go to a tab. Let me just zoom in real quick. We want to go to this tab right here. Now we want to go to file, file right here. Then we want to go down to import. And when we hit import, it's going to come up with a few different other options. Layer, paper texture, image tip, tool presets. We do not want tool presets or any other option here. We want the layers option. So th what that will do is create another layer on top of this one right here. So here we have the different options. We're going to go to this PC, scroll down until we hit pictures. And here we have the Corvette Stingray. And we will open that. And voila, we are now, or we now have that photo reference. Oh my god. Um, remind me tomorrow. Um, we now have a photo reference or a photo of that vehicle in our program so just real quick I'm gonna do it again real quick do the um, zoom in here go to this option right here we want to go down to file we want to go down to import and when we do import we want to go to layer hit that layer button it's gonna come up with this window option we're going to pick this one, hit open, and what that does is it comes up with the uh, the photo. And the photo is now imported into the entire program. So what we can do with that is we can take this, we can move it around. Now here's the, here's the cool thing. We have different options here now for layers. So layering is a cool option here. So where is the layers? Here it is, this little icon right here. Let me show you real quick. This little icon right here is layers. So we wanna click on that and we have layers. Now you'll, you'll notice that we have the eyes, we have the uh, images and we have like turn dials. Don't mess with the turn dials because that's just something that we're, gonna, we're not gonna focus on. I'm gonna Tell, talk to you about that in another video but basically when we do this we can go to different um, layers here the layer right now if I turn this layer off and on this layer is literally the white part right here it's all this white area here now we want to go to um, we want to um, play around with these vehicles here so for example if I click on this layer and I click on the on the, uh, the image watch what happens if I just draw so basically when I draw it's gonna affect only this layer so it's not gonna affect any other layer it only affects this layer so let me undo that I'm gonna undo so when I hit this little tab right here 
I'm gonna hit this little arrow right here. Not any of these, but I'm gonna hit that one. Hold on. So when I hit that, it comes up with different options. But now, the layer that we selected, that image is in the back of this one in front of it. So this layer is in the back of the the uh, the front layer. So what we can do is we can take our pen and we can move it around, we can size it, we can do anything we want, we can skew the vehicle, we can do all that stuff, we can do a lot of cool stuff here. We can match it to the current size. Here, let me uh, zoom out. We can match it to this certain size of our canvas. So if we want to match it with the current size of our canvas, it looks like we didn't skew any of the vehicle. So now, if we want to, so now, here's a cool thing, hit the check button. So now, if we want to move the front layer, we want to move the front vehicle, all we have to do is click on that layer. So now, what we do is click on the arrow button again, and that will bring us to the front layer. We can move the we can move this car around here if we want to put it right here we can stretch it scale it do whatever we want say for example if i wanted to crop it do anything like that um i will talk about that in another video um i'm going a little bit too long into this video but that is the main purpose i just wanted to share with you um midnight plum i hope this uh i hope this helps um i hope you get um some uh gain some purpose and knowledge out of this because this this program is very cool. It has a tons of new features and stuff uh, for 2019. Um, I gotta update it, I think. But this is basically how you can import layers, um, import photos into the program Sketchable here. In another in another video, I will talk about Procreate. I'm gonna introduce introduce you guys to Procreate. Not now, but um, in another video, I'll be back with another one talking about that program so if you guys want to learn more about this program i'll be happy to do that um uh i will i will put something in the description box or the description below um if you have any questions uh please uh inform me on what you know what your concerns are with the program or what anything you know, if you guys have any questions about how to do anything else with those programs or the new program I, I use, which is Procreate, I will be discussing all of that in other videos. But for now, this is how we get photos into the uh, the the program Sketchable. So I hope that helps everybody. Midnight Plum. There you go. Hope everything I hope everything works out for you. Um, let me close this up. I'm just going to minimize this and we're going to close this or actually we're going to, um, clear, we're going to clear this layer by deleting and then we're going to make a new layer or new, new page and we'll, we'll mess around with this in another one. We'll mess around with this some other time. So, um, yeah, let me put this back real quick. All right, people. Um, I hope that helps. If any of you are interested in that program, it is in the Microsoft Store. Um, it's free. I think I paid maybe like a dollar or something for like upgraded features. But so far, it's uh, free. You can get your hands on it in Microsoft Store. Um, it's only a Microsoft Microsoft product, as far as I know. You can check an availability in the link description or something like that. Um, but as far as I know, that program is right now in the Microsoft, Microsoft Store. Um, I hope that helps. In another video, stay tuned, in another video I will be discussing um, the program Procreate and I will go over some features and cool stuff with that program and how I use that to my advantage when I'm doing my digital illustration and artwork and stuff like that. I'm going to show you how to import images and stuff like that, how that program works in another video. So stay tuned, everybody stay cool, it's hot, it's really hot, get yourself a haircut or something. Um, so yeah, uh, that, that is it. Um, I know I haven't been doing much uploads. I'm trying to, please forgive me with all your might and heart. Please forgive me. Um, I care about you guys. You guys are my audience. I have a little over a hundred subscribers, but that doesn't matter. You know, you guys still are still important to me. So I wanted to try to produce more content for you. Well, this is Dan Art HD. I'll be back with another video sometime in the near future i don't know where this is going but um i'll be back and uh
stay frosty and um, there you go this is Danor HD peace